Bemidji got a taste of some classic rock tonight as a band many people know paid a visit. Our Jackson Bruner has more in this week's Community Spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's party time. Bright lights and the sounds of rock and roll filled the Sanford Center on Monday night. As ZZ Top took over Bemidji. Oh gosh, I can't hardly stand it. I could hardly sleep all night. I was trying to get here. I've listened to them ever since. They've been playing. Crowds came from all over Minnesota to see them perform. I've always wanted to see ZZ Top and I got an opportunity. I own a bus service and I brought a whole bunch of people on my bus down here and I got a chance to come and see them now. This is going to be great. I would love to see ZZ Top's play in International Falls. I don't think that will ever happen in my lifetime, but uh, at one time there was a rumor we were they were gonna and that was like Wow. And for a show this popular, many people had to pre-order their tickets. Two or three days after they announced the concert was coming, uh, we were, I was in and got tickets. It's a full arena show and they sold about 4,000. It sold really well. The building was clearly packed to the rafters with very few empty seats. They are good rockers. I mean, they've been around for years. I don't know what I hear, 45 years? It was a love of classic 70s rock that made the night one to never forget. Just the music, the excitement, the, the showmanship. I liked, I've always watched, their, I've always loved their videos and just the playing and the, just the overall, you can tell they've got enthusiasm for what they do. You hear all this music nowadays and it's just like, well, you know, the rap and all the, we don't, uh, we just don't connect with that. The old rock and roll is the way to go. For this week's Community Spotlight, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.